Tip number one, don't ask for permission when they didn't receive the vision. You ever find yourself just scrolling on your phone or maybe looking for a YouTube video or a podcast for some oomph, some inspiration, right? To just chase after your goal, chase after your dream. And you get just that. You get a whole bunch of inspiration, a whole bunch of information, and you repeat the same process next weekend and the next month and the next year. Lo and behold, you find yourself still in the same place where you started. It feels like you're still looking for something. You're still seeking for something. And if you really dig deep down inside, you start to realize that you were looking for permission from somebody that did not receive the vision. So then what do you do next, right? You start going to your friends and to your family and your significant other trying to share this plan, right? Hoping that they will get just as excited as you and encourage you to, to pursue after your dream or give you some insight about the next step. But once again, you're stuck in the same position. You're trying to get permission from somebody that never had the vision. And so at best, all they can do is just tell you what they would do from their perspective. And so you end up walking away with doubt, with indecision, with insecurity. You find yourself back in the same position. And so what's the solution? You gotta stop asking for permission, okay? You really have to stand firm on your faith and what God has shown you. Because what you're doing looking for validation from other people is you're putting less of your faith in God and putting more of your faith in other people, hoping that they will support you, uplift your vision, uplift your goal, and they never received your vision. Sometimes you have self-imposing people, right? People that are gonna inject their thoughts, inject their opinions upon you. And you gotta tell them, hey, I love you. But the fact of the matter is that you're entitled to your opinion, you're entitled to your thoughts, but you're not entitled to my audience. I don't have to make audience of what you're saying because I don't wanna be distracted. I don't need the external noise right now. I'm already going on a difficult journey and I just have to hold God's hand and just trust and believe. So yes, I will have to go through this by myself. Yes, it will be scary, but guess what? Through the darkness, God will lead me to the light. Just hold on tight. You might find yourself continue to repeat that same grueling process of always restarting a goal always restarting a process because you keep false starting. Aren't you tired of that? I know I was. And if this has been motivating for you, go ahead and like and subscribe. I want you to go all in on your process. I want you to start removing day by day the different doubts, the different limiting beliefs, the people, the things that are holding you back. You can do it. I did it. I know you can do much more. So with that being said, Backpack Kev, and I'll talk to you later.